Cam drill alert in the southern Okanagan. Oh, they're spraying fancy here. <clears throat> Two elevations. Earlier one. You can see clearly above there. Well, okay, I can on this crappy little viewer that's turned down. Um, yeah, there we go. That one is uh, probably about uh, 25, 28,000 feet. And then they just finished while I was on a tiny short dog walk, which felt good, but they laid down the second layer, lower at about 20,000. And we're, uh, well, obviously we're just getting into dusk about uh, 5.30 p.m. And this is just right at McGintry Bluff. Horizon to horizon. This is the last one they just laid down. And we'll kind of get that with the sun. We'll make it look like it's coming out of the tree. Ah, the trees are on fire! Sort of, slowly. Solar fire. But, they won't burst into flames. Let's not get too horny on the zoom. Yeah, this one would be about eight minutes ago. It was the last one. Well, there you go. Uh, oh, October. October the 10th, just before dusk. And they're moving in the uh, typical direction. So southeast over Washington, that's when they tend to spray here. Praying to make drought and drought and deluge, I guess. Whatever it takes, use up all the carbon tax you need. Just get those lands, farmlands, bankrupt, so the bank can finish buying them off. I mean, after all, is there any other reason to create a depression other than great wealth transfers? Let's see. Do you know of any other reason? Kitty! Do you know of any other reason to create depressions? Other than the great wealth transfer where you get to buy things up for a penny on the dollar or better? Oh, the shenanigans these bastards won't go through, eh? What are you gonna do? If you're responsible and, and just wait until they shoot themselves with the water of their own bullshit after they've shot everyone else. Do you tell it like it is and hope enough people fucking clue in that they don't fall for the scam and then you've spoken well to the bottom line of these with their modifying land grabbing son of a butches. I don't know. I just tell it like it is because otherwise I go totally insane. 
Doesn't matter how far back you move. This thing of human fucking bullshit always seems to follow. Isn't that the way? And as an added bonus, might as well make this worthwhile. Uh, draconian meteorite shower was said to be a thousand per hour on the Canadian radar, uh, pointing north. Um, so probably Eastern Canada can see it right good now. That peak was, or that reading was uh, a couple hours ago. Spaceweather.com sent me a courtesy notification. They do that sometimes, even though I'm not a paid subscriber. Well, there you go. Grab your cams, your cameras, your tripods, your coats, and whatever else, and go have a happy Thanksgiving uh, meteorite watch. Meteoroid. Yeah, meteor. Well, I guess if you see it, it's a, at least a meteoroid. If it lands in your yard and you get lucky, and it doesn't hit you, um, then it's a meteorite, which is worth lots. Cool um, meteorite jewelry on um, spaceweather.com. I guess that's one of the big sponsors of it to help him pay for his space. Catch you later.